where will we, where will we find this money that we go to Abuja to share every month? Last month, the federal government printed an additional 50 to 60 billion to top up for us to share. Good, wonderful people, you heard Obasiki announced to Nigerians that the CBM printed 50 to 60 billion to add to the money they will normally go to Abuja to share. I'm bringing you another news, wonderful news. Hmm? I'm not a prophet of doom. This is not prophecy. This one is coming from Dino Malaye. Do you got something to tell you? Fellow countrymen and women, I'm here once again to address in the course of our nation's history. I am terribly worried as we face insecurity challenges in this country, a more alarming danger of economic crisis that is looming is ahead of us. I want to announce to Nigerians because I know we have a government that is not sincere, that is not honest, that will not tell Nigerians the truth. So I owe it as an obligation to tell Nigerians the bitter truth. I stumbled on a letter written by the NNPC, specifically signed by the Chief Financial Officer of NNPC, Omar Ajia Issa. He wrote the Accountant General of the Federation, intimating the Accountant General of the Federation that there will be zero contribution from NNPC to the uh, National Post in the month of May, in the month of June, and in the month of July, meaning zero allocation from NNPC. The implication is that the revenue in these three months will only come from the Nigerian Customs and FIRS. And we all know that bulk of the revenue normally comes from NNPC. But now he has written the Accountant General of the Federation to announce to him officially that NNPC will not be able to contribute to FAC in the month of May, in the month of June, in the month of July, because the landing costs of PMS in the month of February, month of March, is 184 Naira, as against the 124 Naira. So because of this, NNPC is not in a position to contribute to the revenue that will be shared among the three tiers of government, the federal government, the state, and the local government in the month of um, May, in the month of June, in the month of July. The implication is that states will not be able to survive States will not be able to pay salaries, and this is a major catastrophe. And all this is happening because of ineptitude in leadership. It's happening because we have no leadership and the president is absent. And this is the time for Nigerians to know so that we can act. We are in precarious situation. We are in a very perilous times, and leadership is absent. God Almighty is the only one we can run to. In an unjust society, silence is a crime. I remain Dino Malaya. Bam! Now, you heard it from Dino Malaya, but some of you may not understand the impact or the implication of what Dino Malaya said. To be honest with you, many people are looking at Nigeria disintegration will come as a result of insecurity as we are faced with. Now, Nketo Fada is on the way. That is this very one when he be say federal government state government and even local government do not have money to pay salaries to offset their current expenditure now that time you go know the meaning of state of anarchy now that time you go understand the meaning of hunger you go not say hungry people hey no they shout hallelujah now that time you go understand say an angry man or a hungry man is an angry man. 
I am waiting for that day patiently to happen because the day of doom, that judgment day is knocking around the corner. All thanks to this government of impunity and corruption. All thanks to this failed government under Association of Past Criminals. If you call it APC, now you savvy. But the truth of the matter is that Nigerian people are been uh, we have been driven to the to the to the middle of nowhere and at the point of no return there is only one way this country is about to crash this country is on a nose dive and it must definitely crash i know they prophesy i know the prophet i know they predict because i know be niger bet but i'm telling you for sure if for this country the way it is going it will crash are you ready? That is the question. Are you ready? My people, are you ready? Especially my Biafran people, how ready are you? Now you will begin to appreciate the efforts we are putting on this platform to get my people ready. For you to fasten your seat belt, hmm? fasten all your seat belt, eh? because Nigeria is about to crash. Fasten your seat belt, my people, because somebody said, Obaseke, in that very, you know, pronouncement or his speech, that many Nigerians do not have any option. And therefore, we must understand that, yes, Nigeria will not disappear. Nigeria will not disintegrate. Because 60 to 70 percent of the people who live in Nigeria today do not know any other way. So they are, Nigeria is not going to break up. Forget it. We have option. Every Nigerian have option, and that one option is to jettison this British colonial contraption because we are once a nation of people independently before the colonial encroachment. We are indigenous Biafrans, my own people. We have indigenous Oduduas and Darewas, as the case may have it. So don't tell me that we don't have any other place. The only place I don't have is outside. Igbo land. There is no place I can call home outside Igbo land. I'm by extension Biafra land. Anytime I step my foot anywhere around the territory within the Biafra territory, I feel safe. Because that is the only land that can guarantee the future for my kids when I have them. That is the only place that can guarantee the safety of my people. That is the only place that can ensure that the potential of my people are well harnessed. That nobody will undermine the potential of my people. The creativity, the progressive mindset, the innovation that is endowed in my people. That is the only nation that can guarantee the prosperity of my people. And end the continuous enslavement of my people outside the shores of their homeland. That land is the land of the rising sun. And there is no two ways about it. Because this is one thing Nigeria has deprived my people. Through their useless constitution, through their wicked and oppressive policies of the government, through the nepotism that has driven Nigeria to the point where we all find ourselves today. Where mediocrity is the order of the day. Where corruption is an institution. Then I say me, you are telling me that I don't have any other place. Far, 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 far. My people, let us together rebuild our homeland. And that is what good governance ministry is preaching for my own people. We need to unite together and build our homeland. We don't need to destroy our homeland because we want to destroy Nigeria. You don't need to destroy Nigeria. Nigeria is heading for a crash. And nobody will save it. All you need to do is to prepare yourself. Fix our homeland because we don't have any other place. Go home. Add value. We say in a weepy government, add value. That is where I'll be wrapping it up on this program. Please, if you like this video, share it. Drop your comment. Let me have your opinion on this. Subscribe to this channel. 
and follow us on all our social media platforms. BVI Channel One is the signature. And I remain Asun Sinner Peters, the voice of the people, the voice of God, and the voice of our ancestors. Stay tuned and don't go away from this platform. Always come back for undiluted truth. Stay safe, my people. Bye-bye.